fancy a bit of vintage shopping you guys? Let's head outside of London and go to the beautiful Rye, this stunning town in East Sussex and explore a bit as well. Hi guys, we are in East Sussex this weekend so I thought I'd take you along as I normally do and show you a few things of the British countryside so I hope you'll find this interesting so at the minute we've just arrived in a small town called Tenterden and we're going to have some lunch in a place called The Wine so yeah let's see what we can see in this part of the UK but it's supposed to be really beautiful down here the other reason why we're here is that we want to explore the area because my husband and I have been thinking for a long while whether we need to move out of London at some point. So yeah, this is a bit of a research project too, so yeah, anyway. Yeah, so Mr. Baker's got crab cakes with like a mayo or something. A mayo, yeah. Who likes traditional English? Fish and chips, you guys. And traditional pie. <laughs> it's the day of traditional food. Yeah, so this is Tenderton. It's a very tiny place. You can see we're here, there. And we've just walked across here, the high street. I really hope that we will get some good vintage shopping in this little trip of ours here to East Sussex. So let's check out this little shop. Do you remember these animals, you guys? I used to collect them when I was a kid. <laughs> no idea where they are now. Um, and lots of little kind of trinkets. Bit of blue glass. Love a bit of blue glass. And we've got a set of coffee cups. Very reasonable priced. Yes, this is not an Hermes bag, <laughs> even if it portrays to be. But yeah, the price kind of gives it away. Nobody would leave an Hermes bag just hanging there, I guess. Now just going for a little stroll down this cute street. I love these windows of the old shops. What do you guys think? Yes, yeah, so we've had a look around Tenderton now, and um, it seems like a cute little town, to be honest. There was a stinking smell though, <laughs> which we were a little bit like, hope it's not like this all the time. But it's obviously the uh, farmers that are putting up manure for the uh, fields. So that was a bit off-putting as we were walking, wasn't it? But, um, but yeah, no, it seems a cute little place. And um, yeah, first little town explored. So we've just stopped for a little coffee and we're going to have a little cheeky chocolate. This looks like homemade chocolates in this little chocolate coffee shop. Yeah, that's the restaurant I was talking about. This one. Nice. So we've stopped at the um, winery here, which is called Chapel Down, and we might have a little bit of sparkling wine. Um, yeah, they've got gin, you can come and do a bit of a tour apparently, and you can do a tasting. We haven't booked anything, so we're just going to have a look around the shop, basically. <laughs> So Chapel Down is one of the many wine producers in the UK now. The climate means that there is a large production of wine and sparkling wine in particular. Hello little one. Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah, are we going to be friends? I think so. You're cute. Hi right, guys, we've arrived. Wow, look at this you guys. This is our little haven for the weekend. How fabulous is this? So let's have a look around you guys. This is the kitchen. It's very quaint. 
Isn't that lovely? And we've got a staircase going up that way. I'm in there. Hello. Here yeah, we've got, I think this is like the coffee station. I love these rustic type walls, aren't they just gorgeous? But look at this. This is the living room. So we've just dumped our bags. So you can see it's the first outing of the London Travel Tote. Very excited. If you missed my unboxing, maybe watch it afterwards if you fancy. And also it's the first outing for this little cabaz bag, which actually has been really, really handy today because it started to rain a bit. But look how gorgeous this room is. And we've got a fire there as well. Just love the interior design that the owners have done here, you guys. I think I want to move in, you guys. I think this is just fabulous. I love it. Ah, oh, my husband just turned on the lights. So, yeah, maybe you can see things a little bit better. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Right, shall we head upstairs and see what the bedroom is like? Right, this is the bathroom. How cool is that? And then through here. There you go. That's the bedroom. Nice. Yes, so this is our home for a few days. We are going to explore. Tomorrow we are planning to go to Rye, which is uh, one of the towns that they call Sank Port. And uh, maybe I'll learn a little bit more about the history of that so I can tell you about it. But so far we've had a fabulous day. We bought a couple of bottles of um, rosé sparkling wine at the Chapel Down. But we'll probably keep them for a special occasion, but we'll see whether we... Yeah, so this is an Airbnb and we just met the owners and they were super lovely, you guys. So if I can, I will link this property below because um, maybe you should go and visit if you're in the UK. This looks to me like a fig tree. Isn't that lovely? I love this garden. Look how big these plants are. And this is like a big thistle. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? You can tell I'm a townie, can't you? Because I'm getting excited about the little things of the countryside. And we've got apples outside of our cottage. So there you go. That's the cottage we're staying in. The property is in fact an old renovated coach house. It's raining now, you guys. So the umbrella's out. We're not too surprised because we are in the UK after all. <laughs> Hello, you're Hello. back. We're going to go inside the main house. What's your name? Hello again. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hello, Peacock. You've kept us awake this morning. It's raining now. You look a bit wet. So we can't see your big, lovely feathers. Hello. Hello. Are you gorgeous, aren't you? How gorgeous are you? Yeah, hello. Hello. Good morning guys, we are headed for Rye now and there's a lot of bumping in the road, some terrible potholes and we're going to find somewhere to park the car and then we're going to go exploring. How exciting. Look at this old pub. Look at this cute little yard, Highlands Yard. Cobbles Tea Room. I wonder if my husband is eyeing out that we're going to have a little visit to the tea room. Are they open, babes? It's very cute, doesn't it? Is there a now, is I mean, a... we could sit here, can we? So we think we're going to start here at the Cobbles Tea Room, you guys. Look how cute this is. And we think we're going to sit outside because it's quite nice now. Just look at the cuteness factor found our seat now. So we're going to have a little coffee and a little toasty 
to get us going because we're going to go exploring and this is very cute this tea room so one of those to recommend That was lovely, you guys. We absolutely enjoyed that. Highly recommend a little stop to the cobbles tea room. Now let's go and have a look at Roy. Yeah, look at this little walkway. It's like going back in time, you guys. Record shop. How cute. What do we think of this basket? Obviously just a normal kind of basket bag. But I'm thinking maybe it would be good for like storing magazines and things like that in this at home. Yeah, what do you guys think? Yeah, I think it also comes in a green. Which is quite cute. Just gone into this cute store, you guys. Look at the display. I'm loving the display of this. These are cute. <coughs> How much is this one? It doesn't say. I love these ones, babes. Look at these ones. Mm. They're like they What's the price on them? £180 for the pair. How cute. <clears throat> Early 1900s, yeah. 1910, 20, mm. something like that, Edwardian. I like this tray. Shall I pick it up? This one, you guys. Hold I'm it. just thinking maybe for plant Royal Staffordshire, twenty pounds. Maybe it's worth ten. <laughs> <It's definitely> ten. <laughs> Twenty five pounds. Yeah, and this is Royal Copenhagen as I suspected. This is cute. Little sugar bowl. There's a little candle. A little candle holder. <clears throat> Yeah. But then you want to protect this as well. Well, that's the thing. Then you protect that to protect something else, to yeah. protect it again. Because that is nice. You need all that. Yeah. Love that. All right. These are, too, these are, these are Local cool. pottery. What's the name, Bex? Jenny Pritchard. Jenny Pritchard. So these bowls here. Yeah. And there's a little bit of local art, I guess. Look at this Tudor house, you guys. They even call it the Tudors. How gorgeous is this? This is just the cutest house. Yeah, it's getting everywhere. Look at that beautiful house, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my hair. We had a really big storm last night and my husband and I were kind of worried whether we would actually be able to go here today. But it has calmed down, thank goodness. And the sun is out. And look at how pretty Rye is. Rye can actually be reached by London in about 40 minutes, you guys. And it's very close to the coast. I saw my husband disappear into this antique shop. So let's go in and see what they have to offer. If this was a real Tiffany lamp, you guys, for £98, I would be snapping it up straight away seem to be drawn by the Tiffany lamps or the Tiffany inspired lamps rather. Uh, glasses, yeah, nothing so far. Is there anything in here that we need to take home? And being a craft, pottery, art, anything design enthusiast, we have to go in there. Let's check out rye pottery. Do you guys like ceramics and pottery? Yeah. Needless to say, I love all of this. So yeah, let me know in the comments because it will be interesting to hear what you guys think.
Oh, look at these ones you got. The lion and the unicorn. That's really well made, isn't it? Collectible from Canterbury Tales. They're really well made. Yeah, Rye has got quite a few sort of antique -y type vintage stores. So let's check out another one and let's see if we find something this time. More vases, more cups, something that I don't need, another little handbag. We haven't seen many handbags, unfortunately. Got another little jug, wings, okay. And what's that? Oh, binoculars, these ones remind me so much of my dad. I mean, how beautiful is this, you guys? This particular little street is considered one of the prettiest in the UK. And you can kind of see why. <laughs> Look at this beautiful, beautiful house. The architecture. Stunning. Really worth it. Look how beautiful this is. The house with two front doors, <laughs> circa 1520. Wow. House with the seat. Look at this one, you guys. Look at how the windows are kind of bending around the corner. Goodness. <laughs> So behind me here is the maid, which is a really old inn, which was used by smugglers apparently back in the day. So we're going to head in there and have a drink, because it's hard work being a sightseeing person. Yeah. So look at how beautiful this is, you guys. There we go. Let's head in. This is beautiful, you guys. Look at the old panelling of this corridor. This is inside. So they've got a restaurant. You can apparently also stay here overnight. They believe the Mermaid Inn was first built in 1156, you guys. Another cute room. Apparently there are hidden panels and staircases so the smugglers could escape. And quite a lot of famous people have stayed here too. So we went to the Mermaid Inn and had a little Diet Coke. And as we're walking out, there was a whole group of Danish people. Uh, I always find it quite funny when I meet, or well, when I hear Danish in the UK. I know, if you're an expat, you all know what I'm talking about. Do you want to tell everybody about that? Yeah, car parking here at right, a day, £2.50. That's pretty good, isn't it's it? pretty good. Yeah. London is about £40. It's like £2.50 every 15 minutes yeah. or something. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so it's a bargain. So if you're driving here, it's, you'll, you'll yeah, save money. it's great. Time for a spot of art shopping. Look at this beautiful gallery. Love an easel. Oh, gorgeous. Portrait done, it looks like she's really good at portraits as well. To remember Milano by. This is cute. Oh, there's another one there. That's also lovely. That's more like him, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. This is the name of the artist, Marina Kim, if you're interested. And um, there is a website address there, marinakimart.com. This little still life, loving it, loving it. There's some great still lives here as well. Okay. Now look at this you guys, it's a hat shop. How often do you see a hat shop nowadays? Look at these. I hope you can see a bit because it's a bit reflective. But look at these. 
absolutely adore hats, you guys. Do you love hats? Let's go forward. Come on, guys. Just a quick little look around this gift store, you guys. You never know what you can find. Ain't that the truth? All you need is love and a cat. It's the dying. The design of these boards are quite funny. See, they've got like a little lucky penny. Uh, it's quite nice wood. Over there. Cool penny for the guy. Got some pouches. And there's Rye Church. guys you can probably not hear me i'm trying to shout thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little vlog from ryan sussex in my next video i will be unboxing a few items for you so stay tuned and make sure that you hit that subscription bell so you don't miss out